I am going to discuss with you the fungal infection in case of the ICU. Uh, usual outline of my presentation would be types of infection, epidemiology, risk factors, diagnostic test and treatment strategies in this. In case of this fungal infection in ICU, of course, the coming, the most important one is the invasive candidiasis. Now, invasive aspergillosis is also coming up, but I will mainly discuss on invasive candidiasis, which may present either in a bloodstream infection, candidemia, or deep-seated tissue candidiasis. This is a uh, uh, paper which have been uh, published in last two years back in New England Journal of Medicine. It really summarizes very clearly how this infection goes inside the blood. Either it goes from the intestine after colonization, especially if there is cytotoxic chemotherapy, or it can go from the intravascular catheter. If there is colonization of the catheter, it can go inside the blood vessel. And from the blood vessels, this can go to any organ from bone, lung, eye, brain, liver, spleen and any even into the kidney. So, what is usually found that nearly 250,000 people worldwide are suffering from invasive candidiasis and the mortality is also very high, more than 50,000. Now, these incidence calculation is much more from the data which is from western world, whereas in case of the developing countries, the incidence would be much more, but there are very few studies from the developing country. So, it is usually predicted that the incidence rate of candemia is around 2 to 14 cases per 100,000 population and it is considered to be the fourth most common bloodstream infection in ICU. Of course, in certain study it had shown even up to third most common. Abdominal candidiasis, another issue of invasive candidiasis which is gaining importance, especially in case of the secondary or tertiary peritonitis or patients with acute necrotizing pancreatitis. What we have found that in India, that it is around 7 percent of the necrotizing pancreatitis, there is invasive candidiasis. So, why invasive candidiasis has become such important? You know, the mortality is so high that we need to diagnose it early and treat it early. There is also a global shift in favor of non-albicans candida species had been seen. We used to know that candida albicans is the most predominant pathogen. But throughout the world, we are seeing non-albicans candida species. And if you look into the...